Hi, I'm from Football Boots at Code UK, and today I'm unboxing the brand new Ticraft at McCool Superfly by Nike Football. Let's get the boots out of the box and the box out of the way. So Nike's Ticraft is a premium collection of football boots that feature leather fused onto Nike's iconic football silhouettes. The latest Nike Ticraft boots highlight the contrast of legendary leather and innovative materials like Nike Flyknit through a color combination of canvas and vault. So the Techcraft Superfly debuted in the black hyper pink design and now a second edition is released in a unique canvas vault design. So the Techcraft design used a two-tone effect, in this case vault yellow colours, the flyknit material, laces and a sole plate. While the leather used a dark brown golden colour creating one of the most unique designs for the fourth generation of Superfly. So I'll bring the boot closer so we have a closer look at the design. So the headline design feature of this boot is this sort of light brown canvas coloured leather. So on in many pictures it does actually look golden but in hand it's definitely light brown. And as you can see that just in the light there it's a very sort of a light brown colour. Vault yellow colours the rest of the boot, the fly knit, the laces and the back portion of the boot as well as the seam. Mercurial branding and black on the heel. ACC logo in black as well as another Swiss logo, big outline of the Swiss logo on the forefoot in black. Flip it over the sole, we've got a carbon fibre sole with vault yellow colouring the entire studs with transparent tips. And yeah, a really vibrant design by Nike Football. So the headline feature to the Techcraft Superfly boots is the added super thin and soft K leather to the Flyknit upper which will offer the wear with a very traditional dampened leather touch on the bull. If we compare it to a recent Superfly, so this is the Savage Beauty Superfly for Cristiano Ronaldo. It's a very, very thin upper. As you can see, as I'm pushing down on the upper, it's very, very thin and soft. We look at the Tech Craft Edition. Again, it's very super thin and soft. But again, that leather just creates a bit more thickness to the upper and a bit more traditional in terms of football boots. So the flyknit material spans from heel to toe in this boot and is arguably the softest material on the market, similar to what is seen on the Magista Obra by Nike Football. The added leather material makes this upper much thicker than a standard pair of super flight boots. So if I bring in the Savage Beauty boots again, as you can see, just a very super thin boot, the standard super fly. Well, the Techcraft edition, the leather on top makes, just adds a bit of thickness to it and just a bit more in terms of substance on the boot. So the most noticeable feature to the Mercurial Superfly is the dynamic fit collar which is made up of a woven material dubbed Flyknit. The collar is designed to lock down your foot into the shoe for a sock like feel and fit resulting in a more responsive feel and fit. It's going to cover your ankle, it's going to be a very unique feel in terms of a football boot. It's much different than say a Mercurial Vapor by Nike Football. So an additional super thin synthetic layer dubbed Nike Skin is added on top of the flyknit for extra durability and touch. The K leather has been added straight on top of the flyknit which will mean you'll experience a more dampened touch on the ball like I said before. Rather than a barefoot feel you'll experience any standard super fly. So like what is seen on the new Phantom 2 boot, Rio cables merge in with the laces to lock down your foot into the shoe, again enhancing that responsive feel and fit for quicker acceleration and traction, a great thing to have in any speed boot. So again ACC is used on this boot for a consistent touch in both wet and dry conditions, another great feature to have in any pro level football boot. Featured on previous Mercurial generations is the carbon fibre plate which is one of the most responsive and lightweight soles on the market. It delivers explosive speed in all directions while the vapour traction pattern uses direct inject blades which dig into the ground at high velocities for instant acceleration. The same traction pattern you will see on the Vapor 10. A very very aggressive stud system and sole plate system on the Mercurial Superfly. So in terms of first impressions there are two main things you need to consider with this boot the added leather on top of the standard fly knit which will provide a much more dampened traditional touch on the ball very leather like touch on the ball and the second thing to think about is the design canvas and vault I'm definitely a big fan of the vault on the heel and on the laces as well as on the sole in terms of this canvas color it's all about personal preference in my opinion I'm not a big fan of it but again it's just personal preference if I had to choose a Superfly, I'd probably go for something like this. It's a very sort of stealth looking Superfly rather than this, this boot here. So yes, these new Superflights will be getting a test and review, so be sure to stay updated to our channel for when that video comes up. Thanks for watching and as always, we'll see you next time.